Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Deanna Minnick. Glad to be back. And we have the final color in the series of the rainbow, which is blue purple. Now, blue purple foods are quite unique, and I would even venture to say that they're quite precious. They don't occur with any great regularity. They are often seasonal, and we have to catch them when they are available. In fact, there was a study that was done some years ago, and it found that 88% of people do not get their daily dose of blue purple foods. So this is one that we have to be sure that we are getting because blue purple correlates to the brain brain health. There are so many different studies. I've done uh, many different lectures just focused on brain health and blue purple. So if you're thinking of, of your memory, your mood, your mind, be thinking of blue purple foods. They are very protective for the brain. And in fact, in some animal studies, what they found is that that blue purple color, which correlates to a compound called anthocyanidin, find its, it finds its way into parts of the brain that respond and correspond to learning and memory. So these colorful pigments do make their way throughout the body in order to have functional roles. And it seems that we are learning about the role of blue purple for the brain. So I want you to remember that. And this is something that fortunately we do have some access to in the Pacific Northwest. I know my blackberries are starting to ripen. I just took a picture of my blueberry bushes. We have about six to eight blueberry bushes in our yard which is really a gift because in July and August, we are showered with all of these blueberries that we can't usually consume, my husband and I, and so we freeze them. In fact, berries like blackberries and blueberries freeze really well. So if you feel like you are missing the seasonal flow of these blue purple foods, it's okay to buy them as their frozen counterparts. So going to Trader Joe's, getting a bag of the wild blueberries from the eastern part of Canada. They've got those nice Montreal um, blueberries there. They're, they tend to be very small. They were, they were more wild. And so the smaller the berry, the more nutrient dense it is. So there are other options too, things like boysenberries and figs and huckleberries, prunes, purple grapes, raisins, eggplant, plums. So as you can see, and there are purple forms of things that we tend to associate with other colors. So like carrots, I talked about carrots when I talked about orange colored foods, but there are also purple colored carrots. You can find them in season. Sometimes you have to go to places like Central Market because they have just a greater inventory of different kinds of foods. And I can, I always get a smile on my face when I see purple carrots. And I've also seen purple broccoli. That is like my dream to see purple broccoli because then not only am I getting the healing benefit of the green, which is good for the heart, I'm also getting the purple pigments, which are good for the brain. So whenever I see purple broccoli, I think of that as a heart and brain food. How healing. So anytime, here is my basic underlying principle. Anytime that you can see a food in its purple format and you see that at the grocery store, buy it buy it as its purple form, whether it's potatoes, purple kale, purple cauliflower. Sometimes you see that at the store. When you see it, I would say definitely choose it because again, purple is precious, purple is rare, purple is for the brain. And the 21st century has been noted as being the age of the brain. And we're seeing increasing rates of dementia, cognitive impairment in children. We see more attention deficit type of mood disorders, learning issues. I wish we can get, uh, you know, one day, you know, getting blueberries into the school system instead of all of the brown, yellow, and white foods that are processed and not doing their brains much good. We need this color for our brain, and it's so pretty. Purple is pretty. Uh, if you look at the, the cabbages, purple carrots have two to three times more nutrients than an orange carrot. Not to say that an orange carrot is, is not good or healthy. It's just that if you can find the purple version, 
I'd go with that. I've even found purple sweet potatoes at Trader Joe's. That is a gold mine. They're not very expensive. They make for a nice stir fry. You can just cook them up, steam them. It's so good. Uh, and so, and of course, all of the other options here like red or purple grapes. So right now I've got green grapes in my refrigerator, but I like to alternate with different colors of that same food. And so I talked about the different colors of apples and pears and bell peppers and even thinking about grapes. So when I see purple grapes and those are accessible, I like to choose the purple grapes because the skin of the grape contains a compound called resveratrol. Resveratrol is important for so many different body systems. In fact, it's so important that some people take it as a dietary supplement. So if we can bring it into the diet, we don't need to spend a lot of money on supplements. I think in as much as we can, getting food as our medicine, going to food first whenever possible. So I hope that you've enjoyed this series of going through the rainbow of different colors, all of the different types of foods, the colors and what they correspond to within your body. And if you're interested in more information, feel free to go to my website. I have a number of different downloadable packets and e-booklets, things that you can get just for free. So stay in touch. I'm in the community and I look forward to staying uh, in connection with you and answering any nutrition related questions you have. Take care.